Well, the Pistons enjoyed an eight-point halftime advantage with big statistical advantages in a bunch of categories like rebounding and inside scoring. The Hawks came back to tie it early in the fourth, but then the Pistons hustled, retook the lead, and at long last break that seven-game losing streak. Let's see how it went down in tonight's victory over the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks' Josh Smith hoping to add to the Pistons' wall by handing him an eighth straight loss today. Early on, Jonas Jerebko backdoor cut. Great feed from Jason Maxiel, who started in this one. Later on, J.J. the rebound. Gets it out to Stuckey. Stuckey looking, looking, looking. Watch him cut inside a Maxiel screen. And one. Later on, Maxiel, who did play well in his starting role, Dunk, uh, misses the jumper, but watch what he does. He gets his own rebound, the put back dunk. He had three of six with seven points. Later, it's Josh Smith on the break. Crossover by Max Seal and the dunk. He had 11 of 15 for 23 points in this one. Pistons by two after a period. And it's Atkins to Ben Wallace with a dunk. Chucky gets the start today. Ben, 18 rebounds, 10 offensive, and 10 points. Will, though, who've been playing with a bad ankle, hurts it again as Jamal Crawford steps on him. Been a tough go for Will, but he battled on. Then it's on the Hawk break. Bibby to Smith on the alley of Smith, 14 of his 23 in the first half. Charlie Villanueva didn't start today, but played well. The block of Marvin Williams, then Charlie goes back down court. He would wind up hitting five out of 10 here. The three-pointer in his first game off the bench as a piston. And as the first half comes to a close, it'll be Will off the steal that was uh, created by Ben Wallace to Stuckey. Stuckey 17, it was 23 in the first. Pistons by eight at the half. In the third quarter, Stuckey, an amazing play, falling out of bounds. The high, Archer goes in from behind the backboard almost. And then some, pers picture, pick some persistence by Jarebko. He gets blocked and then makes not one, but two. But finally, on the third try here, gets the hook to go. He had 10 points and 11 rebounds. Back come the Hawks, Crawford to Bibby. Bibby to Al Horford. He with the dunk as the Hawks win the corner 18-12 to cut the Pistons lead to two after three. Then it is Crawford, the new Hawk, with 20 on eight of 12 shooting as the third quarter ends. And this is a very close game in the fourth quarter. Will the drive. And he'll get the reverse lay here, 13 of his 19 in the second half of a gutsy performance on that off-tweaked ankle. Then Charlie V, the hook in the lane. They push this lead back to double digits. Later, Charlie goes up and into Ben Wallace, a badly bloody nose. He would make the free throws but wouldn't return. No status on the nose as of now, but he should be okay. And they keep on fighting the Pistons dynamic guards. Jarepko, the rebound, it's Will to Stuckey. Stuckey here with the layup. The Pistons are stunning 60 points in the paint. Just 38 by Atlanta. Up by six with less than two minutes to go. The Hawks threatening on the break to get it to within four. But Jarebko breaks up Crawford's pass. Then down the other end of the court, it'll be Stuckey hitting the J and it's over. The Pistons beat the Hawks by six. The losing streak ends at seven. Atlanta's outstanding well coached uh, tremendous athletes and uh, our guys came in and were focused understood that we had been in a tough situation but we didn't lose focus of what we wanted to get accomplished throughout that entire period we <laughs> we held everybody accountable in practice we held everybody accountable in the games and and the guys responded today by me starting and by me running the squad and just you know have him mainly you know Thinking about scoring and, and and putting pressure on the opposing team's defense was great, and he led us in the road. Like I said, he led us to a great victory. The most important thing for me is you know just to stay aggressive, and uh, you know that's what I'm you know gonna keep doing. You know, just keep taking the ball to the basket, and uh, you know if they give me a jump shot, I gotta take it. We all knew in this team, and uh, it's it's gonna take a time to play together. But I think we did it today, and we pulled it off. And uh, there's been some games on this uh, seven game last seven games that we. Uh, we should have pulled off, but uh, today we did it, and we're going to keep doing it. Jonas is, um, boy, has he been a pleasant surprise. Um, I keep saying that because I just keep thinking he's going to hit a wall one day, and he's not going to have that same kind of energy. I'm going to finally have to yell at him about, you know, you're not working hard enough, you're not working hard enough. But that has 
yet to happen. Well, with a losing streak over, the Pistons will try and make it two in a row in Chicago Wednesday night. That game will be at 8 o'clock. Look for Pistons and Focus at 7, Pistons Live at 7.30, and then the ball game at 8. This is Eli Zarrett for Pistons.com.